Hey everyone, welcome back to my in-depth review of the new Grey Knight Codex. So far, some good, some bad, or some not as good, you know? It's an interesting codex so far, and now it's time to talk about the fast attack choices. So we'll begin with the vehicles, because now the vehicles are in the fast attack choices. As we noticed in the Space Wolves Codex, it's also true for the Grey Knights Codex, and they aligned all the points cost accordingly. So the Rhino is a Rhino, which is a Rhino. Uh, it no longer has the Psychic Power available, but you can get some... Uh, it's a 35 points. Same as the other Rhinos, it went down in cost. And you take from the Grey Knights Vehicle Equipment list... Dozer Blades, Storm Bolter, Extra Armor, Hunter Killer Missiles, they are the standard stuff. As I said, GW is trying to streamline their codices, it's very apparent. So, it's, you're, I'm going to be very shocked from now on when I see differences between these codices and such little things as the Razorbacks and the Rhinos. Um, Cybolt Ammunition is gone, so there's no more extra benefit for that, so, yeah. You know, it's just a, a, a standard thing that they're going to do. I think they're going to try to remove a lot of the special rules and try to streamline the game. That's just my opinion, but I think it's going to happen. Up next, we have the Razorback. Uh, the Razorback is 55 points. It used to be 45, so no more cheap Razorbacks for the Grey Knights. And it is the same thing as all other Razorbacks. It comes with a Twinling Heavy Bolter, Searchlight Smoke Launchers. Now, I used to love adding Cybolt Ammunition to it, because I need a Cybolt Ammunition Razorback. But, um... You could take a Twinlink Heavy Flamer for free, 20 points of Salt Cannon, 20 points from a Twinlink Laz Cannon, 20 points for a Laz Cannon Twinlink Plasma Gun, and you take from the vehicle list, uh, the, the Grey Knight's vehicle equipment list. So again, pretty standard stuff. Um, now for the Razorbacks, see I still think 55 points for Twinlink Heavy Bolter, that might be the way to go. I know it's now Strength 5 as opposed to Strength 6, but uh, 55 points, if you want to take min squads of guys, this will be the way to get your guys across the board and still have some firepower left in it. Um, the other thing I might think of is maybe the twin-linked LAS cannon on top. For 20 points and for 75 points, you get a twin-linked LAS cannon, which can pop vehicles and pop some heavy things. Basically, you need some more LAS cannons in your list because uh, there's not a lot of heavy shooting now for the Grey Knights. No, not a lot, and you only have two heavy slots. So I think maybe a Twinling Glass Cannon might be the way to go for 75 points. And that way, as long as it survives turn 1, you move up and then you pop whatever you really want to shoot. It's Twinlings, the odds are you're going to hit. Hopefully you pen, hopefully you destroy because it's AP2. So, yeah. And for Fast Attack, we of course have the Interceptor Squad, the Jump Pack Grey Knights. And they are 130 points. I believe they also went up in cost. A lot of the... That's, oh no, so they stayed, stayed the same in cost. And for 130 points, you get four Interceptors and an Interceptor Justicar. They are just the standard Interceptors. They have the Aegis, they shall know no fear. Brotherhood of Psychers, Combat Squads, Preferred Enemy, Purity of Spirit. They know Banishment and Hammer Hand. At least now we know pretty much all know Banishment and Hammer Hand as their Psychic Powers. And you include up to four, five more for 24 points each. And for every five models in the unit, one Interceptor may take one of the Special Weapons, an Incinerator, Psy Cannon, Silencer. And any Interceptor may take items from the melee list, which is just the normal weapons. And unfortunately, let's see if there's special issue war gear, anything special, no. So unfortunately there's nothing that, uh, the Interceptors also use that, used to have that cool psychic power that if you deep struck within a certain distance of them, um, you it automatically mishapped, and that's gone. So the Grey Knights are going to be much more vulnerable to draw pod lists because that is gone. And you can't get Castellan Crow, it's not Castellan Cotiez, unless you want to ally with him. So you don't have, I will, um, we've been expecting you either. So they're going to be, Grey Knights, one of the big holes that they're opening up right now is drop pod lists or deep strike lists because. Uh, it used to be that you just mishapped around them, and that was a great way of, of you know, uh, preventing that, but now you can't. So if you want to go Interceptor Squads, I would definitely go full squads of 10, and if need be, Combat Squad them to squads of 5. They can score in the new edition, right? Because anything can score, so that's good. It gets them across the board quickly. They do still have the personal um, teleporter, which does have the shunt move. Uh, it is a 30-inch movement. So that's pretty cool. So this is one of the one things that actually does differentiate them from normal jump infantry. They have that one-time shunt move, which is great. Turn one, you just shunt up. Sorry. You just shunt up the board, and you wipe out your enemies. 
So that's good. You close the gap really quickly, especially with giant squads. Now, for fast attack, you only get two fast attack choices. Only two. So I would not take any Rhino or Razorback that is not a dedicated transport. And then the choice is whether or not to go two large interceptor squads, or if you really want to be annoying to your opponent, Storm Raven Gunship, which is the other fast attack choice. And it got five points cheaper. It's now 200 points. It's the same thing as before. Rear uh, 12 around, four ballistic skill, three hull points. It's a vehicle, a flyer, hover, transport. And it's twin leaf assault cannon, twin leaf heavy bolter, four storm strike missiles, ceramite plating. Um, and it can hold two separate units, one unit of up to 12 models in its cabin, plus a single dreadnought or venerable dreadnought. This is a great combination if you want to go and fly in and drop a venerable dreadnought in your enemy's lines. And uh, may replace twin linked assault cannon with one of the following twin linked plasma cannon for free, twin linked las cannon for free. You can replace twin linked heavy bolter with a twin linked multi melta for free, typhoon missile launcher for 25 points. And may replace its two side axis side sponsons with hurricane bolters for 30 points. Can take a searchlight, extra armor, or locator beacon. So it's pretty much the standard uh, Storm Raven gunship. And it's still an awesome choice if you want to fly your models quickly. You know, like six Paladins in it and a Dreadnought could go pretty far. Your opponent will try to shoot it down. Hopefully it survives. And then it gets your guys to where they need to go. And they can assault right out of it because it is an assault vehicle. as has power of the machine spirit and Skies of Fury. And Skies of Fury is... Um, it moves more than six inches. Passengers can still disembark, but they do not. They do so as follow. Nominate any point. And then, oh, they yeah, just drop in. Yeah, they just basically, you know, drop in from the sky. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. And that's it. That's the fast attack choices. So now, let's go over them really quickly and summarize them. We have Rhino and Razorback. Don't take one unless it is a dedicated transport. No point taking up an important slot with only two choices with a dedicated transport option. No. Number two. Uh, if you want to take the Razorback, I like the Razorback for smaller units. Uh, I think the Twilling Glass Cannon is the way to go. For an extra 20 points, it gives you an extra popping ability. And then there's the Interceptor Squad versus the Storm Raven Gunship. Now, if you want to be a nice guy, Interceptor Squad, because you just, you know, two full squads of 10, shunting up the board turn two, or turn one, sorry, and then closing the gap and then just shooting your opponent. That would be good. It'd be a good combination with two incinerators because they're strength six eight before so if you have a like a squishy opponent orcs tyranids tau you just shunt up and flame and destroy them and that'd be awesome and some eldar obviously and then that you know it gets that alpha strike and prevents them from uh, harming the and plus it gives you it gives your opponent um something definitely to focus on and the fast attack could keep your other guys alive the other option of course is the Storm Raven Gunship, it is a solid choice. It's always been a solid choice. If you want a 12 model carrying capacity, plus a Dreadnought, fly it across the board, drop wherever you want to go. And it has a lot of firepower, so it will shoot a lot of stuff the turn it comes in. Hopefully your opponent doesn't have Skyfire, but uh, it's also a great choice. Mm -hmm. So up next, let's go to the heavy support slots. Then why not? Let's keep going, because the heavy support slot, this codex is not very, uh, it's not very full of choices. So first we have the Purgation Squad. Now the Purgation Squad is like the standard squad. They have a Power Armor, Storm Bolter, Nemesis, Four Sword, Frag Grenades, Crack Grenades, Psycho Grenades, the Aegis, They Shall Know No Fear, Brother of the Psychers, Combat Squads, Night Vision, Preferred Enemy, Pure New Spirit. They know the Banishment, Hammer Hand, Psychic Powers. You can include their 110 points for five models, four Purgators and a Purgator Justicar, which actually made them more expensive, which was kind of odd. As I said, most things, some things in this codex got more expensive. The troops got more expensive. The guy, like they tried to realign them. I don't know. And you can include up to four, and up to four brigaders may take items from special weapons of up to four. So if you have a squad of five, four of them can still take it. It says, and incinerator, silencer, side cannon. So you can take some side cannon spam, cool stuff. The thing is with the the heavy support slots is you only get two. So I personally would not take a brigation squad. You could if you have like a few extra points left, but I feel the next option is the best in the heavy support choice, the Nemesis Dread Knight. It is still 130 points as it was before. It's base strength 6, toughness 6, 4 wounds, it's a monstrous creature, 2 up save, 5 up invul. It has 2 power fists, Station of No Fear, Aegis, Deep Strike, Preferred Enemy, 
Psyker, Purity Spirit, Force Shielding. And the Force Shielding is as a 5 plus invulnerable save. Pretty standard stuff. You can take a personal teleporter. This is where it gets fun for 30 points. It used to be like 75. 30 points. Take two. Just take two. Take two Nemesis Dread Knights with personal teleporters and heavy incinerators. Now the side cannon, the heavy side cannon is it's salvo, but of course it's a monster creature, so it doesn't matter. So it's either strength seven, it has heavy, it's focused fire, strength seven, AP4, salvo three six rending, or strength seven, AP4, heavy one, large blast rending. So it's up to you whether you want to, you want to use it. I still prefer, and there's also the Gatling Silencer, which is strength four, AP minus, heavy 12, force. Now it's only really good against like Horde's armies that have a terrible save, but then if they have a terrible save force, I don't know. I don't really, the heavy silent, the Gatling Silencer, I still prefer the heavy Incinerator since it is strength six, AP four. Oh, I thought it was used to be AP three. Maybe they made it worse. Heavy one, Soul Blaze, Torrent. Hmm. Interesting. So that one, I'd still take the Heavy Incinerator, because it's Torrent, and you can still line up a lot of guys against a Tyranid army, or it depends, I guess, what you want to break. If you're up against, you know, a Horde army, the Heavy Incinerator would be a great choice. Otherwise, the Heavy Psy Cannon is still a viable choice. Heavy Incinerator is 20 points. Heavy Psy Cannon is 35. You can also take a Nemesis Demon Hammer and a Nemesis Greatsword. Uh, five points for the Demon Hammer. Nemesis Greatsword is 10. The, um... The Greatsword is Strength times 2, AP 2, Melee, Force, Demon Bane, Mastercrafted Specialist Weapon. And the de Demon Hammer is Strength times 2, AP 2, Melee, Force, Concussive, Demon Bane, Unwieldy, Specialist Weapon. So, they do the same thing except the Demon, the Greatsword is Mastercrafted. Yes. So for extra 5 points you get Mastercrafted Weapon as opposed to Hammer. Either way, they're Strength 10, AP 2, Crush Your Face. So yeah. Take a Nemesis Dread Knight for me, a heavy support option. If you only have two, two Nemesis Dread Knights with personal teleporters, a Demon Hammer, and either Heavy Incinerator or Heavy Silencer. I'm oh, sorry, Silencer, Heavy Psy Cannon. Um, they're a great option because Heavy Incinerator, you just shunt turn one. Two guys, these things are really hard to kill, right? They don't have Eternal Warriors, so hopefully you don't face an army like Eldar that have possibly, you know, Dece stuff, but um, they're hard to kill. You shut them up turn one, and your opponent will have to deal with them because you flame. So them combined with the uh, inter interceptor squads, you just shunt up everything and just flame. And then your opponent goes, uh-oh, I gotta deal with all that now. 30 inch gap. Closed. And if your opponent can't deal with them, then they then assault the next turn, because they're jump infantry, so they jump 12 and assault, and the fun begins because they are hard to kill. So, that's a good choice. For heavy support choice, if you only have two, Nemesis, Dread Knight, all the way. Cool. Let's see stuff. Sorry, I'm just checking out these interactive... Oh, it takes me to their website. Cool stuff. So, that's it. And then next we have the Land Raiders. Now Land Raiders can be taken as a um, as a dedicated transport for uh, Terminators or Paladins. So what that means is if you are taking Paladins and Terminators, uh, do not ever put a Land Raider in the heavy support choice. Do not take up the heavy support choice with a Land Raider. You know, uh, you don't want to do it. Don't want to waste that spot. Bring it as a dedicated transport, 250 points. And what they did was basically, um, they decided that they are going to align the cost of the land raiders with the other land raiders. And a land raider is a land raider, which is a land raider. They're no longer, they're no longer, you know, psychic vehicles. They don't have access to cybolt ammunition, so they're just a land raider, 250 points, same as all the other land raiders. Twin link heavy bolter, twin link glass cannon, searchlight, smoke launchers, assault vehicle, power of the machine spirit, 10 mile capacity. Well, meant to take a multi melta or granite vehicle list. And then there's Land Raider Crusader, 250 points, just like all the other Land Raiders that are in the new codices. Uh, Twin Linked Assault Cannon, two Hurricane Bolters, Frag Assault Launchers, Searchlight Smoke Launchers. Multi melt, you can take a multi melta if you want. And it's Assault Vehicle, Powered Machine Spirit, 16 model carrying capacity. And then my favorite Land Raider Redeemer, 
Twin Linked Assault Cannon, two Flamestorm Cannons, which are Strength 6 AP3. Assault 1. Yep. And uh, Frag Assault Launchers, Searchlight, Smoke Launchers, you can take a multi melta And it has a 12 model carrying capacity. I like the uh, Land Raider Redeemer, because the Heavy Flamers are nice. Strength 6 AP3 will kill a lot of stuff, ignores cover, and it's 240 points. Good stuff. Plus, so you can take a leader and a squad. You know, like a squad of five Terminators or Paladins with a leader. You got it in the Land Raider Redeemer. So that's good stuff. And that's the heavy support choices. In the next video, I will be covering the Lords of War, the formations, and my final thoughts on this codex. Stay tuned for more videos. If you enjoyed this video, like the video, comment in the comment section down below. If I missed anything, you want to add anything to the conversation, um, you feel maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, you want to, you know, just talk about it. Stay tuned for the next video, as I said, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Really does help a lot. Till next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting.